or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Joss and if you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place and I hope you'll consider subscribing. I also hope you'll consider following me on TikTok and Instagram where I also talk about perfume and other fun stuff. Today, I'm really excited to bring you my favorites. So these are my current favorites. I've got skincare, fragrance, of course, and makeup, and then a few other miscellaneous things. I do current favorites videos approximately every six weeks or so, and I just have a bunch of stuff today I'm really excited about. I actually have hair too. Um, so I'm gonna start with fragrance, of course. So this is Mon Paris from YSL, and I just love this so much. It's like this very beautiful fruity patchouli, fruchuli, I guess you could say. It's very popular. There are lots of flankers. I have the original. I think it's really pretty, and it's great for this time of year. It's got pear and then quite a few other notes and it's just a really beautiful, I think the bottle is beautiful. It's just a great fragrance. It lasts a long time. It's very just beautiful, easy reach. Uh, if you don't like patchouli, you probably won't like this because it does definitely come through, but I really love this one. That's Mon Paris. In the fragrance category, this was one of my favorite pairings that I tried this past month. And this is Victoria's Secret Emerald Crush which I have the cream and the spray. I heard about this from Simply Shaughnessy. I will link her channel below. Be sure to check her out. And these are beautiful. This has sparkling pear and freesia glow. <laughs> and then I paired these with my Idole from Lancome. And this has a pear note as well. So these just paired so beautifully. And I think actually this would pair beautifully with Emerald Glow as well, Emerald Crush, excuse me. I think this would actually pair really well with Emerald Crush too. So I don't know, this this is a great fragrance. It's just a very people pleasing, mass appealing, beautiful, not complicated, but really nice fragrance. And it goes beautifully with these. So the pair just really tied it together for me. I loved it and it lasted. So this was one of my favorite combos of the month. I really love this Bare Vanilla La Creme body lotion from Victoria's Secret. In fact, the whole Bare Vanilla line, I have this Bare Vanilla lotion and then I have this Bare Vanilla body spray. This is just such a versatile body cream. I, I'm wearing it today actually, and it layers with so many things. Anything that has vanilla and lots of things have a vanilla base note. This is just beautiful and I love it. It's got vanilla orchid and sponge sugar. So. It's gorgeous and I like these too, but this is the La Creme version, which I think is just supposed to be more creamy possibly. I really like the Bare Vanilla line from Victoria's Secret. I think they're very versatile. They go with so many things and I'm not sure why I keep doing this, <laughs> but I like this. I did a video on Anima Vinci, which is a niche house from Germany. And I got this discovery set, which I reviewed on that. I gave my first impressions in that video, but I have been testing these more thoroughly since that video and I really love this house. So I'm really looking forward to getting a full bottle when they are shipping to the US. Again, they're not currently shipping to the US, unfortunately. I've had such good experiences with these fragrances. Not all of them last super long. I would say I got good longevity from about half of them and the other half was kind of in the four to five hour mark, which isn't horrible, but I just love the fragrances. They're unique, they're beautiful. And I just wanted to circle back because I haven't, like I said, I haven't been able to buy a full bottle, which was my intent was to get the full bottle and then come back to these and share more impressions, which I will do once I get that full bottle. But like I said, not currently shipping to the US. I think they will be again, but hopefully soon. But they said that they will start shipping to the US again when the delays have eased up a bit because they've been having pretty bad delays with shipping in the US. I think I'm gonna talk about hair next. I don't have a lot of hair stuff and I don't usually talk about hair stuff, but I really like this Curl Smith Double Cream Deep Quencher conditioner and this is ugh, I don't like the smell I actually really love Curl Smith products but I do not like the smell it's like this very cloying jasmine kind of thing I wish they didn't include that much fragrance but anyway I love the product it's very 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 moisturizing extremely thick rich unfortunately it's kind of expensive it's like $28 for this eight ounce little tub and my daughter's been using it too so it's going fast, but I really like it. It feels so good and moisturizing. So I really like Curl Smith. Sometimes they have deals on Ulta where you can get free stuff with the purchase of Curl Smith. So I've gotten a few free things from them, but I really like this one in particular. It's very moisturizing, um, but like I said, it is unfortunately kind of expensive because it's so tiny. So, but I do love it. 
And then the other hair thing. So this is from Madison Reed, which is the brand of hair dye that I use. I use Veneto. It's a light brown. That's what I use probably every two months or so to cover gray primarily. And so I got these balayage kits because they were on sale at Ulta. They were marked down from like 45 to 38.50. So, you know, a little bit of a discount. So I got one for me, which is this one. And I got one for my daughter, which we use. So she's got blonde hair. So we put some really pretty highlights in her hair. It was not super easy to use, but it wasn't horrible, horribly difficult. So they have some decent videos that show you how to do it and it turned out really, really nice on her. So at some point I will probably do this on myself <laughs> if I can figure it out. Um, Cause I'm not sure how I'm gonna get the back. But anyway, I'm gonna probably try this on myself because this one is for my hair color. And I just thought I would mention it because it turned out so nice on her and I had a pretty good experience with it. So I just thought I'd mention that these um, Lightworks kits from Madison Reed, they're not super, super highly rated on Ulta's website. I got these on Ulta if I didn't mention that. They're not super highly rated. They've got kind of mixed reviews, but I had a pretty good experience with the one that I did for my daughter. So it's probably gonna be more difficult doing it on myself, but we'll see. I've got a couple skincare things. So these actually look like they're from the same brand, but they're not, they just have very similar packaging, I guess. So they're both serums. I've got them both on YesStyle, which is Korean beauty, which I love. YesStyle has great deals, great products, and I've had really good experiences buying stuff from YesStyle. This one is from the brand Clavu, and it is called Green Pearl Station PHA Calming Serum. And this smells so good. It's so refreshing. I know I just said I don't like scented products with like hair and skincare, but for this one, I'll make an exception. It's got a very strong green tea smell. It's a little bit medicinal, astringent, but I really love that green tea smell in skincare. I don't know. So this is a really nice serum. And then this one is also really nice. This is from the brand Some By Me, and it's AHA, BHA, PHA, 30 Days Miracle Serum. And it looks like this. I actually use this one first because it's thinner, and then I use this one on top of it. So this is part of my morning skincare routine and I really love both of them. This one doesn't have much scent. It's got a very slight um, refreshing scent, but it's very subtle. This one, like I said, has a bit of a stronger green tea kind of smell, but I really like them both. And I love um, the feeling and the results that I'm getting from using these. So again, those are products that I got on YesStyle. And I just love, like I said, I love K-Beauty. It's so much more affordable. I don't think I'm gonna be ever paying huge prices for skincare products again, because these K-Beauty products are so fabulous. And I'm not just talking about these, but other ones that I bought from YesStyle, they're such good products and they're such a good deal. Makeup. So I'm just gonna take you through some of my favorites. Starting out with foundation. So this is Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. I'm in the shade 102 Fair Porcelain. I love this stuff. It's like $7 on the Ulta website. You can probably find it cheaper at Walmart and other places. And it does go on sale occasionally, but this is oh, this is such a great foundation and such a great deal. I'm wearing it today, all the favorite makeup products I am wearing today. This, it's just, it goes on really nicely. They have a matte version too. I prefer the Dewy and Smooth over the, I think it's matte and poreless, but I have both of them. But this is great. It's a great deal. My only complaint about it is it doesn't have a pump. It's kind of a pour out situation, but it works great. I think it's an awesome deal. And I'm really happy with this. This I've been wearing it for a long time and I really like this. I don't think I've talked about it before. This is a primer that I love and it looks gross because there was tape. I ordered, I ordered this from Walmart online and it had some tape here, so it looks kind of gross, but it's almost used up. But this is from Hard Candy and this is the Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer. It looks like a milk makeup one that is kind of greenish. It's like a green gel. So this stuff is great. It does feel hydrating and it does help my foundation stick. I feel like my foundation sticks a little better when I'm wearing this and it's very inexpensive. I think it's only like six or seven dollars. And again, I got this at Walmart. I think Walmart's the only place that sells hard candy cosmetics. I really like this and I would recommend it. And now for the fun stuff. This is the ColourPop Stone Cold Fox eyeshadow palette, which I'm wearing today. It's so beautiful. It's got so many different options for different eye looks. I always kind of tend to lean towards a shimmery copper or brown or taupe. You can do a pinky look, a brownish look, a grayish look, and lots of different variations and 
um, going from light to dark. So this is a very versatile palette. I want to say it's like $35 on the ColourPop website. The formula is really good. I definitely can recommend this. I didn't look to see if it was in stock or not before I started filming. You can order this from the ColourPop website, hopefully. It has been pretty popular, but it's a great deal. I think you can get so many different looks out of this one, and I love it. I have a bronzer. I think I may have talked about this in a favorites video a long time ago, but I really like this bronzer. It's from Too Cool for School, and it's called the Art Class by Rodin, and it's one of these kind of striped um, products. I just swirled the whole thing together. I'm wearing it today. Um, I got this on Yes Style, the same place I buy my... Occasionally, I do buy makeup on Yes Style. Typically, I just buy skincare, but I did buy some makeup and I have bought some makeup on Yes Style, including this. I can't remember how much it was. It was pretty cheap. I wanna say it was less than $10. It works great. It's just a really nice matte that. So it's a really nice matte bronzer, um, but it's not super flat or dull. I think it doesn't really have much of a sheen, but it doesn't seem matte or dull, if that makes any sense. I really like it, great quality. And for blush, I've got a ColourPop one called Shook to the Coral. And this is so pretty. It's a very shimmery coral. And, and I really like this. I did look on the ColourPop website for this one. Um, I want to say it was like $10 and it's currently out of stock, but they still have they still have it listed on the website. So if you're interested, you can have them email you. You can put in your email address to be notified when it comes back into stock, but it's really pretty. I'm wearing it today. It's a little bit shimmery and it's. I think it's really beautiful. I love the shade. It's a little bit unique in my collection. I don't have anything else that's this, um, quite this shade. And I do have a large blush collection. <laughs> if you've seen my blush declutter video, you would know that. <laughs> For a highlighter, this one is called the Milani Supercharged Highlighter. It's got two colors. One is pinky, one is kind of champagne. I tend to kind of wear both of them. And so when I swirl these together, I get this. It's kind of... It's below the bronzer. It's kind of hard to see, but it's so pretty. Um, this is great quality. This really rivals high-end expensive products, and I think this is around $10. It's gorgeous, and it's the Supercharged Highlighter Duo. I'm not sure if this is the only shade, but I love this. It's beautiful, and I really like Milani. I think they have great quality products. And then for lip gloss, this lip gloss, I wear this in almost every video because I keep it right here at my vanity. It's so pretty. This is from Maybelline. It's called the Lifter Lifter Gloss, and I have the shade Stone, which is 08. It's just a really nice neutral. I love my neutral lip glosses. Looks like that. Um, it's a great lip gloss. It's not too sticky. It reminds me of the Fenty Gloss Balm, which I've had in the past, but I think this is quite a bit cheaper. This is only around 10 maybe, and you can usually find sales at Ulta and probably CVS too. Walmart is usually the cheapest place for makeup, sometimes Amazon. But anyway, I love this gloss. I use it all the time. I wear it in almost every video and it's just, it's a fabulous gloss, love it. And then my lashes today, I really love these Anastasia Beverly Hills or ABH lashes. This is in the style of fashion. I really like these because they are really, they're not natural, but they're on the more natural side. They're very fluffy and kind of crisscrossy. And I just really like this. I got these on sale. They're currently in stock, but they're $12 a pair, which is kind of on the higher, more expensive side. Um, I don't usually like to pay that much for lashes, but when I got them, they were half price. So I picked up, I think, a pair of each of their styles. So they were like $6 a pair, which is much more reasonable, but I think they're really pretty. And so I love playing with lashes and I just thought I'd share one of my current favorites, which is this fashion um, style from ABH. And then for content, I, I wanted to share a few content creators I've really been enjoying lately. One is Alice from Alice in the Rabbit Hole. I have talked about her previously on the channel. She's fabulous. She's got a YouTube channel and an Instagram account. I would suggest following both because she posts the most amazing deals on her Instagram account. And she does recaps of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. She does lots of skincare tests, lots of skincare topics on her channel. I have found so many amazing deals from her Instagram account recently, including Ulta secret sales. I got a COSRX skincare set for like $5. She recently posted about an e.l.f. cosmetics sale that I am taking advantage of. She's 
just awesome and she's got the best personality. She's so funny and she's so beautiful and smart. So definitely check out Alice. And then a couple other ones that I've really been enjoying that are totally not beauty or fragrance related <laughs> at all. Um, Dr. Grande, um, Dr. Todd Grande is a psychologist and he does these um, 15 minute or so videos where he talks about current events and different things that are going on in the world. And he talks about those current events from a psychology perspective and they're very interesting. He is very, very funny. He's got this very deadpan kind of um, demeanor but he is so funny. He throws in these jokes that are just hilarious. So I, but he's also really interesting. I've been learning a lot from him as well as Logan from the channel Observe. I really love Logan's channel. He does body language analysis, which is fascinating. So he's been doing a lot of body language analysis from different YouTubers, different true crime things, different personalities, um, both Todd Grande and Logan um, recently talked about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry and their Oprah interview. Very interesting. The body language analysis is completely fascinating and I really love Logan's channel. Again, it's called Observe. I will link Alice and Dr. Grande and Logan all below. So be sure to check out those channels. They're so interesting. If you're interested in psychology, body language, check them out. So interesting. So that is it. This is a long video for me. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. What are your favorites lately? I would love to hear about your favorites down in the comments for fragrances, skincare, hair, makeup, YouTube channels, anything. I would love to hear what your favorites are recently down in comments. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't and I'll see you again soon. Thanks so much.